What's up, Galore Gang? It's your girl, Amanda Galore, and today we are back with another video. And if you couldn't tell by the title, honey, we are talking about energies. Okay, energies. <laughs> we talking about energies, the do's and don'ts, how to peep it, how to feel it, all that good stuff, baby, because energy is important. Like, energy is the main way, I feel like, for God to inform you of the right route. You need to have your energy antennas on, okay? Like, energy is super important. I just felt like, mm, mm, why not chat about it? No, why not speak about it a little bit? Um, but go ahead. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Amanda underscore galore. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into it. Good morning. So, uh, if you don't know by now, you should. But we are going to be talking about energies, honey. First off, one thing first, even though you guys probably need to pay attention to that, don't come for a date. I haven't changed it, and I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. Okay, next topic. So, uh, we're going to be talking about energies. And energies, baby, is important. If you don't know by now, I am going to be doing my makeup and talking. And um, if you don't know by now, I don't do full faces. Um, I just... I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup look. Um, and I did do my eyebrows and lashes off camera, as you can tell, because that takes up too much time. And who has time? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what we're going to be um, talking about today, as I said, is going to be energies, honey. And uh, um, a lot of y'all need to start protecting yours a little bit better, okay? Not everybody that is in your corner, in your life, that's a little bit too much, but whatever. Not everybody that's in your corner, not everybody that's in your life is deserving of your energy. You know what I mean? And sometimes people have seasons to where they're not deserving of your energy. Sometimes a certain time frame, a certain period of your life, um their energy isn't matching with the energy that you need around you. You have to understand it is completely and a hundred percent okay to be like, um, hey, yeah, so you're something's not, you know, like and it and it could not it could be that nothing changed. Cause sometimes that happens. Sometimes y'all energies don't click and nothing changed. And I, this is clearly for people who are in your life, like that's what we're speaking on right now. Sometimes nothing changes. Sometimes everything is the same. The, the, the difference is that internally you're changing, you're growing. So even though nothing changed in your relationship, even though everything is still the same in your relationship, it doesn't fulfill you how it used to fulfill you because you're changing. You have different needs. You have different, you get what I'm saying? And that happens and it's okay. It's okay if that happens. I'm gonna do it here first. It's okay if that happens. It's okay because all that is is you're growing. And when you're growing, you have to now teach people the new you. Like, baby, you change. We evolve. We're humans. We're supposed to evolve. We're not supposed to stay the same. We're supposed to be learning every day. We're supposed to be getting better every day. And when that, when that happens, when you grow, when you're growing as an individual, things change. Energy change. That's how, you know, how some people, it's like, oh, you know, ain't no beef, we just drifted apart. Y'all energies just don't match anymore. It's just not clicking. What's not clicking, Steve, in my energy? That's what's not clicking. And, you know, a lot of times people kind of like force it um, because they kind of feel bad. Like, like, dang, this person ain't do nothing to me. Why am I cutting you off? Like, you didn't do anything, but it's like you're you're hindering yourself from growing. You're stopping yourself from growth because you're now worried about the fact that you feel like you're doing this person wrong. You're not doing them wrong because you haven't done anything to them. Yes, it might suck and yes, it might feel like you're hurting them and you're doing all this and that, but if they really loved you, they would understand that you're changing and um, if they want to stay in your life, that what they need to do is at least, they don't have to change 100, but at least change how they are with you. You know what I mean? Because now what's happening is your energy shifting. 
your energy is shifting and as your energy is shifting your wants your needs your craves they're shifting as well and when those things shift you have to make sure that your life what's around you is coming into alignment with the changes that are going on because if not something is going to get sabotaged and i would hope that you do not choose for your life to be the thing that gets sabotaged rather than the things that surround you because everything could go you know what i mean everything could go because it's like it's about sacrifice sometimes you have to sacrifice what you was used to to bring in the new stuff that you're you're manifesting as people love to say it you have let me know how you manifesting for greatness um and you have negativity around you how can greatness seep through it's energy a lot of things in life is energy so how can you have greatness and positivity and joy and you have people it might not even be you but people around you that's filled with all this negative energy misery needs company and let me tell you something one thing about it two things for sure it's gonna try to pull you suck you in and pull you down right with it so it's like sometimes you need to remove those people if they can't align with what you're now moving towards you know what i mean if, if they can't align with the changes that you have made within yourself and the changes that you want for yourself they gotta go at least for now at least for now you know, until they come into realization of what's going on. Because I'm going to cream contour today. I'm not doing my forehead, my um, hairstyle. I have a bang, so I'm not touching my forehead. Um, but yeah, so it's like, they, um, it, it, it's okay. It's okay to be like, hey, or even that, even even if it's not them. Even if, even if you just need time to be alone. You just need to sit. Sometimes I like to just sit in my own energy. You know what I mean? And and a lot of things that I like to do, I'm, I'm more productive when I'm in my own energy. So a lot of times I like to do stuff when the house is empty, when my daughter's not here, when um, her dad's not here, when, when it's just completely empty. You know why? Because when it's empty, the only thing filling my space is my own energy. And I'm completely focused and I can completely indulge in my energy. That's when I'm most productive, when I'm alone. I'm most productive when I'm alone. I'm, I'm most at peace when I'm alone, okay? Because I have nothing else interfering with the energy. And my surrounding energies is just mine. It's just mine bursting out around me. But when you have other people, yours burst out and then theirs block. And theirs is bursting out. So now, who's the stronger? Because who's the stronger is going to win. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so like I was saying, sometimes, you know, you can be bursting out energy. But a lot of times, for some reason, negativity always seems, I don't want to say to win, but it just seems like it's its a stronger force sometimes. So sometimes you can be being positive. You can be, sometimes you can be being positive. Sometimes you can be doing all that you're supposed to do, but it seems like somehow, some way some something it's just the negative energy that's around you just like sucks you in and that's why sometimes you just gotta remove that energy like it's not even about tweaking it it's not even about trying to make it work it's, uh, 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 ain't nothing working and it's not working it's not gonna work you gotta go <laughs> you know what i mean you gotta go it gotta go this is not helping me function because once your energy gets affected, your momentum gets affected. Once your momentum gets affected, everything else attached to your momentum, which is everything, gets affected. Because mentally, you're now off balance. It's like driving a car. If you're driving a car and your axles are on track, the car is going to be going in this direction. Going, You're not going to have real control over it. You're going to have to put in more work than you would typically have to do to have control over that car. So it's the same thing with your brain. And with the energy around you not being what it should be, you're now having to fight 10 times harder for the energy that's already in you. You already have that energy. You already have good energy. You're not trying to get good energy. Your energy by itself is already good. It's other people's energy that's affecting you. So why would you let the outside world affect what's already good inside of you? Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you do that? Why would you make yourself, why would you make things more complicated for you? 
if it doesn't need to be. There's no need for it to be complicated. You're not trying to find peace. You have peace within. It's just people around you are messing up your peace. So why not change the people around you or the things around you or whatever it is? Literally, like, not being at peace can can kill. It really can. I swear it can because stress kills. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm not at peace or when my energies are off, it causes me to stress. It causes me to stress because I'm, I'm mentally, I feel... <sighs> I don't feel free. I don't feel loose. I feel like it's just like, like, oh, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so much on me. It, it feels heavy. Negative, negativity just feels heavy. Like, ugh. I don't You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it. Negativity just feels heavy to me. Like, it just, it just feels like it's too much. Like, I don't want it. So I'm going to go with the Lord. Laura Marcier, Marcier, I don't know how to say her name, bro, that one. And I'm gonna just put it all over my face and literally like, that's all I do. But that's the thing, that's the thing with energy. It's, energy is strong, you know what I mean? I don't know about, some people are like this, some people are not, me personally. I'm the type of person where I can pick up on energy. I can, like, I, like when I say I feel it, like I feel like, and they call it something. It, it, there's a special name for it, but I don't. I don't know it. But I can pick up on others' energies, which is how I can also know when you're somebody I will or will not deal with. I can know that in a matter of like, give me like 15 minutes with you, baby, and I can tell you. And a lot of times, you know, when I was younger, especially when I was younger, because I was like around more people, like high um, middle school type stuff. I would always be like, I don't like her. And they'll be like, why? Like, she's so, and I'm just like, mm, I don't know. It's just something about her, I don't like her. Like, it's, it, it just be something like, ah! It's just something that just irks me. Like, and it's not necessarily that you're a bad person. It's not necessarily, it's just something about you don't click with me. It's not, you might not be a bad person. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm not saying it, but something about you, some part of your ways, some part of your being, it just doesn't, sit right with me like it just doesn't it's just a no you know what i mean like it's just a no for me for me it just it's just something something about you just 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 it's just, something about you just don't it just don't it just don't do it like as i'm older i want to say as i'm older i give people chances but that's not really true i don't really i don't have like outside um, friends type. I'm going in with the Fit Me um, Color 30 Medium Deep for under my eyes. I don't really, you know, my friends are my friends. I don't really care to make new friends. But it's kind of like an on-site thing with me. Like, um, there's no real chance for me to... Like, I don't know. I'm not... I don't I don't know. Now it's, it's a little different because I'm not, like... I don't know. Now it's the same way, but I don't... I don't have like an open circle, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not saying I'm not open to new friendships, but I'm not, it's just not something, I don't get in contact with people enough to even have those circumstances. You know what I mean? Like I'm, see, when I was in school, I'm in school. So it's like, you you have your friends, you have your friends, friends, you, have, you know what I mean? Like you have more contact with people. I'm... A grown woman okay like i'm i don't go out like that my my circle is my circle it's not i'm not saying it's closed but it's no opportunity for it to really be too open if so i don't really deal with that type of stuff but um i mean i'm still the same like it's more so in guys now for me um but it's just energy it don't matter girl woman old lady it, it, it don't matter who you are i can feel your energy like nobody's business you know what i mean like i can feel your energy i can just feel what type of person you are which helps me because then i know real easy if i'm gonna deal with you or not and that's what energy does energy when somebody doesn't sit right with your energy or something doesn't sit right with your energy it's uh it's your insides which is your soul but we ain't gonna go that deep but it's your inside saying hey uh-uh mm, nah ain't feeling it you know what I mean? Like when your whole being is telling you it's it's a no, it's a no. Like it's it's really just that simple. 
Where's my um, this? Oh. Yeah, so like when your whole being is telling you, mm, I don't really, I don't know about that. I don't really know about that person. I don't really know, or you know, I don't really care for them. It's a reason, and I guarantee you, if you ignore it later down the route, you're gonna be like, dang, I should have listened to myself. You know what I mean? Like, I just knew I wasn't gonna be dealing with you. I just knew, yo, you just, it was a no for you. I just knew it was a no for you, but I ain't listen. And when that happens, you know, you deal with the consequences, but you also, you learn, you learn, you know, your intuition, your, let, me, let me tell you something about your intuition, okay? Let me tell you something about her. Baby, she hits every time, okay? Your intuition is always going to hit. My contour looks really bad right now. I don't like it. But yeah, like, your intuition is going to hit every time. She knows before you know. She knows when a man ain't for you before you know when a man ain't for you. But see, the problem is we never listen. We don't listen. You know what I mean? And that's what we need to start doing. We need to listen. Because what's happening is our insides, our soul, y'all be scared, but it's your soul, baby. Your intuition is your soul. Your intuition is connected with something higher. Okay, your intuition and God, they talking. And God saying, mm-mm. So your intuition saying, mm-mm. But we don't listen to that. We're just like, um, oh, I don't know. I'll see for myself. We'll see. And, and it's like, you can you can save yourself so much by just listening to your intuition. You can save yourself so much by reading energies, peeping signs. It's They're all there for a reason. It's called a sign for a reason. It's called energies for a reason. If you don't want negativity in you, don't have negativity around you. Period. It's simple as one, two, three. See how I did that? One, two, three. We get three, two, one. However you want to look. It's simple. It is so simple because it's it's the basic law of life. What goes around comes around. If you have negative energy around you, negative energy is gonna come back to you. It's it's that's just the way it's going to work. It's 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 inevitable. It's gonna happen like that. So when you want positivity, when you want success, they always say be around what you want. When you want success, be around success. Study success. Eat, breathe, sleep, success. Bring it towards you. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. But what they say, um, what's the name of it now? I was just saying it earlier. Manifesting. You know what I mean? It's it's the, the, it, it's real. It's real. People talk about it because it's real. It's real. Like it, it, it's real, baby. That's the way. That's the law of life. That's how it goes. Karma. What goes around comes around. It's not always. Oh, you did this, so this is gonna happen to you. Nah, it don't always work like that. It works with everything. Everything. You have a negative, you have negative around you. You're always around it. And you know, some people be like, bro, I'm a good person, bro. I don't be deserving. But you're, you're a good person, but you're around the people who are causing the mess. It might not be you, but you're guilty by association. Mmm. Mmm. Hello. It may not be you, but you're guilty by association. Let me spray my face. But yeah, so you might be getting frustrated and like, bruh, I'm not doing nothing. Like I'm I'm being a good person. I'm but what's the energy around you? Yes, you you may be giving out good energy, but you're also absorbing that energy. Even though you're not taking it out, it's coming to you. So what's coming to you comes out of you, even if you're not putting it out of you. You know what I'm saying? You sweat without knowing you're sweating. It, it, that's just what happens, which is why you have to keep your surroundings clean keep your energy clean be at peace baby it's okay if you was if you was if that person was in your life for 50 50 freaking years okay and and for some reason just being around them just it just it just makes your energy just terrible or you know how you would know if you're around that person and something bad always just happens it, it, it's like what in the world like, it's always something, very much something. When it's always something like that, and it's always, baby, hmm, 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 very much something. It's something. And you might just need to detach. It's okay to detach. It's okay to not answer calls. It's okay to be like, oh, yeah, we gonna, we gonna do this. And then just, it just don't sit right with you. And you like, bro, I just, it's okay. It's okay. Because one, that, that might be the thing to say your life. You could be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to this party with you. And for some reason, just be like, dang, I don't want to go. 
Hold on, y'all know I can't talk and hold on, hold on. But yeah, you could have told that person like, yeah, I'm gonna go to this party with you. Yeah, we're gonna be lit. Woo woo. Uh. And then something hits you and you're just like, bruh, I don't wanna go. Like, I don't I don't feel like I should go. I'm I don't wanna go. And y'all know why. Like you were just hyped for it last night on the phone. But your intuition that knows greater than you knew that knew that something was gonna go down. You could have lost your life that night. You get what I'm saying? Like, energy is important. Being able to read energy is important. Be able to peep energy is important. Being able to transfer positive energy is important. To be able to observe, ob observe, ob absorb. Uh, to be able to absorb positive energy is important. The only way to absorb it, energy is like a sponge. Energy is water. We are the sponge. So even if the sponge don't want that water, it can't reject it. You get what I'm saying? So by you being around that water, you're gonna absorb some of that water. You might not be directly up underneath it, but as it goes into the fountain, the, the sponge is just absorbing it without even acknowledging that it's absorbing it. You know what I mean? Which is why it's so important to simply just be around positive energy. Be around people who understand the importance of positive energy. Be around people who understand the importance of putting out positive energy. Being around people with positive energy. Not, not being around anything that's going to sabotage the success that you want for yourself through, through the law of attraction. Okay? If you look up law of attraction, really study it, really go into detail. Like, it's real. It's 100% real. And... We might not understand that the little things that we do do, the little things that we we do talking about people or doing this and that and just going on and on about people or this or gossip, even gossip, like anything that's not positive, shut your mouth because it's going to come back and it may not come back in the most traumatic way. It may not come back in the most effective way but it's gonna come back so if you can avoid that and save yourself any piece of unhappiness by just being positive then just be freaking positive like be positive be around positivity stay with positive people you know like simple one two three karma law of attraction manifestation let those three things become something that you really take serious. Because all that is, let me tell you what all that is when we're gonna summarize that all up. All of that is God, okay? I don't know if you believe in him, baby. That is my Alpha and Omega, okay? All of that is God. It's a different way of saying God. God don't like ugly. And he don't. So any ugliness that you're around, any ugliness that you put out any ugly any form of it it's gonna come back somehow some way okay so that is all i have for you guys today i just wanted to inform you that energy is real energy is important energy has a lot to do with your circumstances energy has a lot to do with what you accept and don't accept and how people treat you and it, it has a lot it doesn't look like it does but i promise you the after fact the after effect of it it's a lot it's a lot deeper than you probably think it is um, so just be aware of energy. Start turning on your energy antennas, honey. Listen to your intuitions. Guys have intuitions too, okay? Just listen, like feel your energy, listen to your intuition and see what, what your soul is telling you is for you and is not for you. Life will be so much easier if we just accept the stuff that is for us and then decline the stuff that's not for us. Like I'm not saying it'll be perfect, but it'll be so much more of a breeze. Like I'm not even kidding you. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram, admin underscore galore. And, um, you know, you might as well click one of the videos down below and continue watching. Call me, leave all your things, yeah. We can stop a Gucci, stop a Louis.